Good morning, men. How are we all? Right, oh, just sitting here, taking a fire. The old rain drops are coming down. You could probably hear me in the background. Um, right, just want to clear a few things up. You're watching me do a traditional English Bond wall. Now, stay tuned for the next bit, and I'm going to go through a few things with you, but I've, listen, I'm going to take the time to go through and explain a few things of recent events. Thanks, men. Hello, gentlemen. You all right? Right. Um, just want to clarify a few things. I put a video up the other day and uh, English Bond. And some of you started to hit a point in the video and try and give me a stick about um, it not bonded right, the return should be. So, headers one side, as it returns, it should be stretchers. Now, theoretically, yes, that is a way of doing it, but traditionally, it's not. Now, the reason I took it down from the video, because there's a point in the video where people kept coming to that point in the video and commenting. Now, you got to remember, guys, it's not my job to, to prove you wrong. My job is to give you information. Now, if it's not true, you can't say it. Now, another point, gentlemen, this is my livelihood. And to have people come up and be personal on there, it's not good. You know, so that's why I've blocked the comments on there. And I'm sorry to all the good gentlemen that I've met, but I'm sure you understand, you know, because I'm. it got to the point, I put a video up on uh, Facebook and it got like 2 million views in like two days. And people again, I've never seen Broken Bond like that before on English Bond. Um, I've been doing it 30 years, 10 years. They were so cocksure of themselves, do you know what I mean? And I couldn't believe it. Do you know what I ended up doing? I ended up researching, getting a photo from the Nash book, because that was the, the easiest one I found and put it up and then guess what, it all went quiet. So my job on here is to recruit the youngsters and make sure they, they're taught properly, you know, because there's a lot of false information and a lot of people are so cocksure of theirself and they're fucking wrong, right? Now, if you come on my platform, walking at 10 to two, giving it the big one, I'm gonna just shut you down. Cause that's what I do. Like I said, it's my livelihood. There's no no point in getting personal with me. If you come on here and say, Dang, I thought the um, return was meant to be headers, blah, blah, uh, how come you've done it that way? That's respectful, and I will answer respectful, you know? So what I'm at now is I'm at a, I'm meeting a pal, a, a, a barn, and it's built in, an, in the late 1800s, early part of 1900s, and I just want to show you something very quickly. Right, can you see the head of course? As it comes in, sorry, my hand's focusing it. See the header course, as it returns, it returns headers. Stretches, as it returns headers. Now what it does, put a three quarter header, then stretches. And the same um, below, header, stretcher, then headers. But the headers remain all the way around. That is the, the traditional way to do English bond. Can you see that, to clarify? Can you see that? Now, another important fact I want to say is uh, my job is the traditional brick nose. I work a lot of traditional buildings. And my heritage goes back to 1731, gentlemen, which I put a photo up now of my great-great-granddad in 1883 with his four sons, brothers, and stuff like that, you know. So information's been passed down to me, men, and um, I just relay it. So, and I, what I want to... Something I was always told when I was starting from my forefathers was... Nash was good, yeah, but Nash was a teacher and an author. He wasn't an out-and-out -out bricklayer. And a lot of stuff is written in Nash books, and it is a good profile template, but our bonding work goes back fucking centuries, man. So I just want to clarify that up. So again, I'm sorry to all the real men who have general conversations on there with me and stuff, but I'm going to block the comments for a while because my work is high-end. Uh, sorry, my, my clients are high-end, top-end. And they come on there to view and see some of my stuff and they use it in meetings and stuff like that. And I can't have people being personal. Now, I even got to the stage that when I blocked the comments, someone on, went on a Facebook group and said, the traditional bricklayer is a cock. Now, first thing to us, on that group, that bricklayer man who runs that group should manage that. But he left the post up because it was engaging. Now, to me, that's fucking wrong. If you've got to leave a post like that up just to be engaging, you know, then you're sad. And that's why I don't want to be part of your group. Now, another thing I'm going to say, when I got a message from 
two guys who run groups saying, Dean, I'll let you back in a group because I had a few rares and I got banned. I said, fuck your group. Now, this is why I said, fuck your group. Listen to me. I've just done a thing with a big company and they search you to make sure everything's legit. Now, I'm the most searched bricklayer on social platforms. Everything is real. I haven't bought no followers. I haven't bought no subscribers. Everything else you see is fucking false. I've had it all checked out. Now, I let them do them and I do me. But what you see with me is honesty, pure working man, someone who just wants to help them recruit and to preserve our noise and make sure it's passed on. Now, the, ha the, the head full of knowledge I have in history, in my heritage, I just want to pass it on so it continues and do the right thing by the youngsters. So, gentlemen, I hope you understand that brief video. I'm going to put it up here again. And uh, listen, God bless. Loads more to come from me, you know, um, as we're really poor. I've got my foot on the pedal at a minute. I'm really going for it. Listen, thanks for watching Understanding Men. God bless. So here's a picture sitting down with a stash, gang of man, triple great grandfather. To the right of him, his sons. To the left of him, his four brothers. Look at them. Salt of the earth men, men of their time. Preserve your knowledge, gentlemen. Preserve your knowledge. God bless me, family. God bless me, forefathers.